When I think back to the last elite Michigan Wolverines quarterback, I have to go all the way back to the first half of the decade and remember guys like Denard Robinson and Devin Gardner. Michigan has had decent quarterback play with guys such as Jake Rudock, Wilton Spate, and Shea Patterson, but I finally think Harbaugh and the Wolverines have found their next great quarterback, and his name is Joe Milton. In today's video, we'll be continuing my series that looks at players that I think are future stars that haven't yet gotten the chance to really shine. Joe Milton was a highly recruited guy coming out of high school, and with Dylan McCaffrey deciding to transfer, I think this means Joe is the future of the team. He has been compared to the likes of Cam Newton, and in today's video, we will talk about his time so far at Michigan and why he is the future of the team. But first, do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new, be sure to smash that like button to help the video and channel grow, drop a future video suggestion so I can consider it, and turn on post notifications so you never miss another upload. Now let's meet the future of Michigan football, Joe Milton. Like a lot of you guys, I've been doing a lot of reading about the college football season, and I keep stumbling across articles that are saying Joe Milton is the X-Factor for Michigan, he's the best quarterback in a long time, and he has even been compared to the likes of Cam Newton. So who is this dude, and why is there so much hype around him? Well, let's go across the country to Florida, where the 6'6 quarterback was born and raised. Milton became a star at Olympia High School near Orlando, and he became a big-time quarterback prospect. He'd end up choosing Michigan over the likes of Florida, Georgia, and Tennessee, which was huge for Jim Harbaugh. He knew if he went to Michigan, he'd have to be patient and sit on the bench for a few years because of Shake Patterson, and even after that, starting was never a guarantee for him. He'd have to compete with Dylan McCaffrey and Cade McNamara this year, and then five-star quarterback recruit J.J. McCarthy comes in next year and will challenge him for that spot if he even gets it. He appeared in eight games last year for the Wolverines and has shown a lot of potential. He threw for one touchdown and added two more on the ground, but he did have two interceptions. He apparently has the ability to throw the ball 85 yards if he wants to and is a tremendous athlete. Former Ohio State head coach Urban Meyer said he always saw Joe Milton as the fiercest challenge to the Buckeyes because of his height, arm, athleticism, and the way he carried himself. He said he saw a little bit of Cam Newton in him and Urban Meyer doesn't typically just hand out compliments like that to anyone. Urban wasn't alone in that statement either as former USC quarterback and current college football analyst Matt Leinart thinks he looks like Cam Newton too. The hype for Joe Milton is at an all-time high right now after Dylan McCaffrey decided to enter his name into the transfer portal, meaning he was likely told he lost his starting job and should go find another school so he can actually play. This basically means that the staff wanted Milton as their guy, and they think he can be the next great quarterback for Michigan. So if you look at Joe, he has a great arm, he's accurate, he's a great athlete, has potential running the ball, has ideal frame at 6'6", and I believe he also has the intangibles. Reading through interviews with him, it seems he has a really good head on his shoulders, is a good decision maker, and has the drive to be successful. He's already talked about being an NFL player someday, so that means he knows the potential he has, and he sets high goals for himself. He tries to do his part off the field, and has even taken multiple leadership classes at school, so he can learn to be more vocal, and become the guy that everyone looks up to. He said he used to be shy and non-assertive, but now it looks like he is pushing his teammates to get better on and off the field, which is a very good sign. I think Milton may be the kind of guy Michigan has been missing, and I just never saw superstar potential in Shea Patterson, Wilton Spade, or Jake Rudock. We will just have to wait and see. I hope Joe is the quarterback to bring Michigan back to the top, and maybe he will even beat Ohio State. And Ohio State fans, you won't be able to say Urban Meyer didn't warn you guys. I'm going to leave you guys with one more quote that was said by the head of a quarterback camp called the Quarterback Retreat. Steve Clarkson said, quote, Milton is everything Coach Harbaugh has ever wanted. Harbaugh loves alphas. He loves guys who aren't afraid to get into a fist fight. With Joe, he's going to go in, take the curriculum, break it down, and immerse Milton in it. This is absolutely 100% Harbaugh's type of kid, and it's a perfect match. Enough said. There really isn't much more I can say about this kid, but I want to know what you guys think. Is Joe Milton the next great Michigan quarterback, or is he just another guy who will be all hype? I'll actually be uploading another video later on today about another guy who's in the same boat as him. Let me know down in the comment section, and also be sure to let me know who I should do next. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you are new. If you are still here, check out my video about the future of Clemson football, which if it isn't out at the time that you guys are seeing this, it will be out later. And be sure to check out all my other videos profiling future college stars. I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.